Graffiti. I'm Tom. I'm Matt. And I'm Paul. And we're here to help prevent tagging and graffiti. We will also help the community learn what are the effects of graffiti to our environment. Your life. And your money. We'll tell you things about graffiti that lots of people don't know. It may change the way you think about graffiti. Graffiti can be an art book or a crime. The art book is called street art or wood graffiti. The crime is called tagging or bad graffiti. Graffiti is sometimes painted on properties. When this is done, people will usually ask the council to remove it. We will be calling it the removal. Our purpose is to stop tagging and encourage street art. Street art is an amazing artwork. Though tagging just irritates people and makes them want to remove it. It would be great if we could stop it. If we could, our communities would be more artier. What is gra graffiti and bad graffiti? Well, you're about to find out what they both are after these animations. This is an example of bad graffiti. And this is an example of good graffiti. Do you think there is a lot of bad graffiti in Randwick? No, I don't. How do you feel about bad graffiti? Bad graffiti. Bad graffiti. There's, look, there's a few different types of graffiti. There's graffiti where it's art graffiti, like this sort of stuff. And then there's graffiti where people write their names and, and different tags. Obviously, that sort of stuff is rubbish. It doesn't look good. But this, uh, I think, looks a lot better. And, um, and people tend to really like this as well. How do you feel about good graffiti? How do I feel? I like good graffiti. I think it looks colourful. I think it, uh, it makes a place look well. What do you think we can do to support good graffiti? Maybe get more graffiti artists in and, uh, and introduce them to what better graffiti is and where they can actually get good. How often does this wall behind you change? The wall should change. Generally it changes once a month, but it's been like this for uh, probably about two, two months or so. And, and, uh, but hopefully within the next month it will change. And I, I also think having good graffiti on, on a wall, especially like this, this is a huge wall. And um, if, if you don't have any graffiti and if you just paint the wall, it's going to get a lot of other people that do bad graffiti to come and, and make a mess here. So having a big space like this with a lot of good graffiti. Does it make your cafe more popular or no? It does. <laughs> People love good graffiti when it's nice and colourful and looks great and uh, it makes it more inviting for people to come in. Here's some graffiti that has been sprayed on a Nook's cafe. Do you think there's a lot of bad graffiti in Randwick? Uh, yeah, there is a fair bit of bad graffiti if you mean just vandalism and people tagging. Yeah. How do you feel about bad graffiti? Um, don't really love it. I think it's uh, a waste of time for people in the council to clean up. It is also a form of self-expression, so you could say that it's good and it's just people saying we can do it, but my general opinion is that it's, it's a bit of a waste of money for people to have to clean up. How do you feel about good graffiti? I love it. It's, it's a great form of art. Um, it's taken art from galleries and um, being inside for certain types of people for, for now being for everyone. It's in the streets, everyone can see it, everyone can appreciate the colour and the styles and it just means that, yeah, all the people can enjoy the artworks that are created if it's out there in the streets for people to see. What do you think we could do to support good graffiti? 
Uh, I think we can petition councils to find places where it's legal to do it. Uh, I know some of the councils have set up um, certain areas, um, certain streets and skate parks and walls that are legal walls for people to just paint whatever they want to. I think more of those would really be good. I also think uh, if councils can find ways to set up youth projects uh, where kids can be taught by current artists, uh, ways that they can do it, and ways that they can do it in a way that um, means it's legal and they don't have to do it uh, late at night and in places where they could get in trouble from police. I think that would really be a great thing that the councils could do to set it up. I also think um, just talking to people about it and making it not uh, something that's um, really, I don't know, um, seen as illegal and dangerous or only for certain people, but that it is a legitimate art form. I think that changing what people think about graffiti uh, might also be a really good way of doing it. Graffiti is a worldwide problem which we are trying to fix. Graffiti will affect your money because it's a cost to remove it. It could cost hundreds of dollars. The problem is partially about the removal. The removal is full of unnatural chemicals which are bad for the environment. If we remove the removal, there will be graffiti everywhere. So instead of getting rid of the removal, we'll get rid of graffiti. How can we get rid of graffiti? Every time we ask people to stop, they just keep on going. Well, we could make designated areas for people to graffiti on. We could also introduce graffiti taggers to street art and have graffiti licenses. Those are all great ideas. If you have any ideas, tell the council and maybe Graffiti will be stopped once and for all. On top of your house being ugly, when you sell your house, the graffiti will lower the amount of people wanting to buy it. Graffiti can have a big effect on your life because of the way it makes your neighbourhood look. It makes it look bad and dumb. It's not just the removal that destroys our environment. Graffiti affects the environment by the erosal spray. It destroys the ozone layer, which heats the earth and melts the polar ice cap. Did you know that paint actually, the spray paint actually comes from oil, which carries quite a lot of ecological footprint? A good way to keep graffiti and keep the environment healthy, graffiti spray can also be made of moss. They add natural yogurt and sugar to help the moss cling to the bricks. This makes graffiti eco-friendly and biodegradable. It's basically harmless to the environment. We can encourage street artists to use this type of spray paint and save the environment. We gave a survey to some people in our community. It was all about graffiti, and they gave us some great ideas of how we can prevent graffiti. And here are the results. 25% of people we surveyed have experienced graffiti on their home. 52% of the people we surveyed are angry when they see graffiti in the streets. 52.5% of people we surveyed think graffiti should be bad, even good graffiti. 65% of the people we surveyed think we should ban bad graffiti and support good graffiti. 5% of the people we surveyed just ignore graffiti. 62.5% of people we surveyed sees the council doing something about graffiti and vandalism. 27% of the graffiti is located on walls. Here are some pictures of graffiti. They'll be both good and bad. See if you can find the difference between the two. now about graffiti. Remember to think phone fix. Think means think if it's good graffiti or bad graffiti. Phone means if it's bad, phone the council. And fix means let the council fix it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you.